All right, now we're going to get into the bit um, how Adam and Eve were created. This is like the speci specifications and why we aren't immortal because God made humans immortal before we kind of messed it up. Like, I know, I, I'm sure like, I know the story. Like, didn't like Eve like, gave him an apple to eat and then fucking God punishes him or something like that? Uh, yeah, that's kind of close enough. I mean, that's really specification and we never learned what fruit it was. All right, so pretty much, um, God formed a man from the dust of the ground, uh, and God breathed into the nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Went from like a mm. clay statue. God like formed us with his hands, and the now now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. And, uh, I'm, I can't remember, but it's been very speculated that Eden was, like, near Babylon and the Euphrates River in Mesopotamia. That's kind of where Eden was, in Afghanistan and Iraq and those countries. Mm. Mm. Um, let's see. And God made all kinds of trees were in Eden that go to ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden um, was the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which my this is my own speculation here, but I imagine that's where the Greeks get the their myth of like the golden apples that grant you these kind of godlike powers. The Greek mythology kind of rose from that. Nice. Um. Let's see, a river watering the garden flowed from Eden, and from there it was separated into four headwaters. The first is the Fishon, and then uh, it went through Havilah, which is not a place anymore. And then there's the Gion, which went through Cush, and then the third was the Tigris, and the fourth was the Euphrates, which, there you go, Tigris, so through the Garden of Eden that went into the Euphrates River. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you must certainly die. Which humans didn't really know. Death at that point. Nothing had died yet. Everything was immortal. All, all great. Okay. And the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. And, uh... He had Adam, the first guy, name all of the creatures. But for Adam, there was no super helpful helper found from the animals. So God caused Adam to fall into a sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of Adam's ribs and pretty much took that rib and made the first woman from it, Eve. Wait. Using a rib from Adam. Yeah? One rib from Adam? Mm -hmm. well, One rib. You do realize he made Adam from nothing but dust, right? So women now get they, like... They should have picked dust from Earth. So it's worth the saying, from dust you came and from dust you will return, comes from. But, uh... So he made re Eve and said... And then Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. And the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife, and they become one in the flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked at that point. They felt no shame. Because clothes weren't needed then. Nice. I guess good enough for them. No shame. And, um, now that I could tell you about, I should probably tell you about the fall of Satan. Because he's referred to as the servant. So there was an angel. He was like the right hand man of God, basically. Yeah. His name was Lucifer. And he was considered more beautiful than any other angel. He was he was straight up like second to God. That's how powerful he was. All right, all and right. um he he wanted more. He was already so powerful, but he was greedy and prideful. And he felt, why shouldn't I not be worshipped as my creator, the god above me? Because God created, also created the angels. And he resided in heaven. 
And um, pretty much, Satan took a third of every angel that was in heaven that God had created. And he kind of rebelled against God. And then God cast him out from heaven. Which is like where God's kingdom was. Earth wasn't his kingdom. He had heaven first. That much is known. Um, and the, Satan, the serpent he's called, decided that he would try to ruin like this creation that God had loved. Like a lot, because he created it. And the serpent was more crafty than any of the uh, creatures God had made. He said to the Eve, did God really say you must not treat from eat from any tree in the garden. He said to the servant, we can eat fruit from anything, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree of, uh, and that is in the middle, and you must not touch it or you will die. And that, that's not really true. She, they could touch it, so she kind of hyper, hyperbole there. But, uh, uh, you will not certainly die, the servant said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. Which is true. That is the pure truth. When they eat from the tree, they know they know good and evil now. They only knew good, but now they know evil. They they have sin. They know they can. What well, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. It's like how a child only sees the good things in the world, but then becomes. But then as they mature, they like. Welcome to the video. They, they know more, and they, they have the temptation to do things. And then, uh, when the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for getting close to uh, she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she convinced Adam to eat some, who was with her, and, he, and then he ate it. And then the eyes of both of them were open. And they realized they were naked and felt shame. So they uh, hid, so they made some uh, covering for themselves out of fig leaves. Then um, the two of them heard God walking through the garden. And the God, God called to them, where are they? And they hid from him. And then Adam told them, we heard you were walking through the garden and hid because we were naked. And God pretty much just said, Hey, yo, who told you you're naked? Have you eaten from the tree I told you not to eat from? And then Adam throws all the blame on his wife. I mean, he just straight up says, That woman that you brought here <laughs> with me. I mean, he wasn't wrong, had was he, though? It was like, he, he did a convince Oh, him. but that's actually... Well, it was her fault, though. She literally just It was both their leg. fault. He was offered it, but he was tempted. He just shouldn't have eaten it. I mean, and you could also say Eve herself was tempted. Is she not at fault? She was they're, they're both at fault because they succumbed to temptations from Satan. So pretty wait, much wait, after wait, hearing wait, that, wait, God wait. goes to Eve. Eve shifts the blame on Satan. And then... So God said to the servant, Because you have done this, Cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your stomach and you will eat dust all the days of your lives. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. And here's a prophecy about the Messiah. You will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains and childbirth things severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. And your desire will be for your husband. And he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you have listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree, you, uh, which I command you, you must not eat from it. Cursed be the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you eat fruit from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you'll eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. And then the Lord killed a wild animal and then uh, gave clothing to Adam and his wife. And the Lord God said, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach from his hand and also take from the tree of life and be immortal. 
And so God banished um, the two humans from the Garden of Eden to work from the ground from which he had taken. And, and to make sure they wouldn't return after he drove them out, he placed a cherubim on the east side of Eden. And he gave that, cher that angel a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to immortality. And that's the fall of man. That is that is the story. Ooh. Ooh. 